Hey guys, so we are out here and this is the glorious full moon. Look at this beautiful gorgeousness. I'm trying to step up on my steps so I can get a better view. Isn't she radiant? Look at that moon. Isn't she beautiful? So I am off to do my ritual. And I will show you now my altar that I've put together for, for full moon. Hey YouTube, Spin Pixie here, and today um, we are going to be doing, well, I'm going to be doing a full moon ritual, um, but I just wanted to show you my Morgan altar because I did do some updates to it today, so let's take a look. Okay, here we go. So this is the Morgan altar that I have, um, and I am going to attempt to show you. Hopefully it's not too dark. Let me just turn the light on, hold on. So. Here we have the three aspects um, candles for the Morgan. We have Anu, Bave, and then Maka. And the reason that I have Bave's candle in the middle is just because it looks more um, aesthetically pleasing to do it that way. But not only that, Bave is the aspect of the Morgan that I connect with the most. And um, I like having Bave's candle in the middle so when we communicate it's kind of like we're just kind of standing face to face um or so or um so i have those candles and i love the candle that i have for babe because it's rather beautiful and i hope i can find a taller one because i can only find um a small one but it's kind of a mixture of black and red and i i wish i could find more of those because i would use them for her um candles entirely um so then we have the feathers from my my um, Birds of a Feather video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It was really amazing how I came upon these feathers. Um, and then the skulls that I've got, I got them from the Dollar Tree a few years ago. And I love them and they just play really well on this altar. Um, which they tie into the altar cloth as well, which was a pillowcase that I just split the seams of, and yeah, now it is my altar cloth. So we have the water dish, which I will fill up right before ritual with well water. Um, then I have the earth dish, which has a bloom from the lily that, I, I don't say that it's my lily, because it wasn't, I just, I saved it from dying. Um, and then it's got some other various things in there as well that are earth-based. And then um, I have my pentacle, which I made out of terracotta clay. And then I have um, a random rock. Now this rock, this rock, um, I had it, it was in front of my apple tree. And I found this um, very shortly after I dedicated my apple tree to the Morgan because it is starting to bloom and it has not bloomed in years, my landlady said it didn't start blooming until this year. Um, so the joke that we have is that I'm like Edward Scissorhands because it never snowed before I came here <laughs> and the apple tree hadn't bloomed in years. So, um, but anyway, so this is the rock that I, that I, um, took from the tree. It was just, it kind of tripped over it and it just said that it wanted to be on Morgan's altar. So here it is. Okay, so then after those, we have, um, I have my purification candles on either side of my cauldron. And then within the cauldron, I have animal offerings. Um, in the middle is um, a blend of goat and llama and alpaca fur. Um, and it's been dyed blue and blended. Um, and it has a couple of different significances, so I keep it there. And then um, also I have a feather that came in the love mail that Ivy sent me. So um, I have that there. I have my salt bowl here. And um, then I have an herbal blend which also came in the love mail from Ivy. Isn't it beautiful? It's a blessing herb blend. I always try to keep some sort of incense on my altar for the Morrigan um, because I burn it, you know, in the mornings especially. Um, so I always try to keep something herb based on this altar. Then we have a random, like just a regular incense burner. 
and then we have my uh, incense burner um, for loose incense and then as well as we have um, a dragon's blood oil the Morgan and I are partial to dragon's blood so I try to keep something of dragon's blood on here at all times too and then we have um, I have a bunch of amethyst here which are beautiful and then finally there is the um, crown jewel of my altar which I absolutely adore and it is a tourmaline um, in the shape of tear which is the rune for victory and then um, apples of course and anyone who knows about the Morgan should know why. And then also, the cool thing is, is if you look right here, that is a real blossom from my apple tree, which had fallen. So I picked it up and I put it on the altar. So that is my Morgan altar, and now I am off to do my full moon ritual. I hope you guys enjoy, and um, have a wonderful and blessed full moon. Many blessings.